Right guys, so Bitcoin has actually just gone and done it. It's lost that 40k support level. Um, it's really happened. I'm not really feeling too fearful right now though. Um, I think there's still many reasons to remain bullish. We have got this massive sell-off right now. Um, and as we can see, what's happened is we've lost the 40k support that we were looking at the other day. So let's see what can potentially happen. We lost the bull market support band. We lost the 20-day moving average pink line over here we lost this key key level of support we had so many touchdowns throughout the whole of q1 2022 and we've got this big big dirty red candle now it doesn't happen often that bitcoin gets big red candles like this not that often um you get the normal occurrences you, you know you do get it but um to see actual drastic continuation to the downside not that common to be fair and when we usually do get these red candles, we still can see bounces back in the market. So once again, don't let the fear invalidate the logic. We still have the support to consider from these last two wicks here, from the 24th of January, 2022, from the 24th of February, 2022. Very strange, on the same day. And 26th of April right now, you know, we haven't touched down at this 37.2K level until we two touch 37.2 and then lose that particular support level that's effectively when you might want to start actually considering moving some of your altcoins into stable coins and maybe even becoming a bit more liquid with your assets and actually moving some crypto into some uh, stable form of money such as fiat currency in order to prepare for maybe an undervaluation in the market and see if that could potentially happen i don't think it personally will we've seen it countless times where we see even, you know, like before, back in May 2021, we saw the low come down to 30k. We saw even a 28.5k touchdown and we saw another 29.5k touchdown. The amount of fear was incredible and we still put through an all-time high considering. We can also look at 2017. What happened is, you know, we put through an 80% correction on the macro scale. The whole market was absolutely going crazy. We saw an absolute bloodbath in the market. We also had a correction at this particular level, which is much, much less, 25%. So these corrections are normal to see 25, 35, even potentially 40% is still a normal correction in the Bitcoin environment. As we all know, um, the volume is still there. It doesn't look bad. And even looking at the relative strength index, we're not even oversold at the moment, guys. So let's just calm, stay calm, stay pragmatic about the whole thing and really wait for these bigger numbers to play out the 37.2. I do anticipate that we're going to get a bounce over the next few days. The whole altcoin market has also been completely demolished at the moment, but I think it is very possible that we do get this recovery over the next few days coming back up to a 40k dollar Bitcoin. We can also see, you know, the MACD. We haven't actually had the bearish crossover for a while, the 4th of April was the last time we had it, and we could still get a bullish crossover at some point, just because we've had a bit of continuation to the downside. It doesn't matter if this range has been invalidated, um, because when you zoom out, there is still a great chance that we can still come back up. Last time we corrected, we saw a 132% increase. Even if we were to see a diminished return on this particular impulse, let's say, 85% we can still see potentially another high put through on the macro scale we can also consider that we've got two key resistance areas even if we came up to $76,000 in the future you know very moon boy numbers but it is very possible if we are trading in this range now for Bitcoin you know knowing that the whales love to wick off distribution on the contrary guys if we lose the support at $37.2 thousand dollars right here we might actually come down to 34.4k. Then we might even come down to 32.8k. We've got many, many levels of support to follow through. And I suppose one thing to look at is knowing that we corrected 80% in 2017. Well, it makes you wonder, well, what if we also correct 80% in, you know, 2022? So far, we had a 54% correction on the macro scale. Then we had a 52% correction. How similar the corrections are is unbelievable. And then we get the pumps after these particular corrections. The chance of it being an 80% correction, 
well, in fact, even to come back to the previous all-time high, 15th of December 2017, would actually have to require a 71% market cycle correction. And this is why I also have this particular rectangle, because I believe the 20.3 to 27.9K dollar level is the key, key bear market undervaluation reaccumulation zone should it actually happen. I, I personally don't think it's going to happen. I think maybe we're actually seeing less volatility now. Maybe this is what the actual market cycle corrections, impulses and retracements do look like. But we have had two major, major corrections in the market. Of course, we've had many, many corrections in between, um, you know, much smaller corrections such as 30 percent here. We had a 30 percent over here, I guess, 30 percent. So it's, it's almost becoming predictable. What did we have here? We had a 24 percent correction. And now we've had really from the previous swing, we've had a 22 percent correction. So lots of corrections on the macro scale. We like to have 50 percent corrections on the more short term within you know uptrends and downtrends. We do like to have 20 to 30 percent corrections. And this is a major, major correction. So yeah, just really talking about what could happen, we could still see 70K, but we could also see 25K. Nobody truly knows where the market's headed. Doesn't matter if you're Michael Saylor. Doesn't matter if you're MM Crypto. Nobody truly knows where it's going. You just need to have a plan. It's long-term, you stick to it. You do not break away from the original sentiment. So yeah, that's what I really wanna look at. I also wanna show you this particular chart here on the total market cap because it's pretty important that we also understand what's going on with the whole entire market, excluding Bitcoin's valuation. We can see we've touched down to the $996 billion total market cap, ex excluding Bitcoin. And what happens if we do lose this particular support along this level, guys? Well, maybe we're gonna come down to 929 billion. Maybe we come even lower down to the next level at 822 billion. And it does look kind of crappy, but it doesn't mean that we're gonna tumble all the way back to like a 300 billion market cap. It's probably not gonna happen. It's just really a phase where we can potentially accumulate more, use this bear market as an opportunity. I've gone long already in Bitcoin just today. I've put in $350 on Bitcoin. I put in $600 in Ethereum. And I've gone long on both of them. When I see red like this, I'm getting a bit greedy. <laughs> so I bought some Bitcoin today. I bought some Ethereum today. And here we can see, again, we're under the 20 day moving average. We're under the bull market support band, but it presents opportunity that maybe we will retest this quite soon. So nothing's really working in our favor at the moment. I mean, even the DXY, it's it's pumping. It's pump, popping off 102 on the DXY. Did not expect it to move so quickly, but it has. And clearly the dollar had a lot of resistance at this 100 level, but we still pump back through 102 on the DXY, which is never good for the cryptocurrency market. So we've got 8% inflation. We've got interest rates on the rise. What else do we have? We have um, the DXY you know, pumping, the US dollar is becoming stronger against Bitcoin. That's not what we want to see. It's also becoming stronger against 100 other currencies in the world. So the US dollar is achieving, it's thriving right now. Things to consider. So really, you know, I'd say try not to react too soon right now, unless we break in through this 37.2K support level. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I know it's not a happy video lots of capitulation, lots of bloodbath, and it's easy to feel very scared. But um, I think time will show us where the crypto market is headed. And let's see what's gonna happen, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment down below, come hop into the Discord channel. And um, yeah, there's about 210 people in here at the moment, so make sure you come say hello. Stay crypto safe, check out the Nord VPN link down in the description, protect that crypto from cyber thieves. That's much worse than a bloodbath in the market, trust me. So yeah, see you soon, leave suggestions, bye for now.